All right, everybody. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new features in Fortnite from the last update. The biggest feature is they've added back DLSS. For for you guys who don't know what DLSS is, DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. I'm pretty sure that's what it equals. But essentially, it is NVIDIA's only for their RTX series cards for their super sampling upscaling. And where you find it is if you go down to settings, you go settings, and then you're going to see here anti-aliasing and super resolution. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the different resolutions and we're going to see the difference between NVIDIA DLSS and as well the TSR and which one is the best to use right now. So right now you can see we have it off. I'm going to hit apply and wow my card's actually handling it. I now have an RTX 3080 okay and that's handling it pretty well. I'm just trying to see here if I can get something here that's going to really frame drop it. We're at 160 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly up this to like 360. Hit apply. Let's see what the frame rate I'm getting is. So I'm getting high of one we're getting around like 160 to 200 frames. Let's see if I can like really get this. And this is no upscale. Like this is literally no upscaling. I'm running at 2056 by 1440. Uh, I mean, I'm going maximum direct X 12. We are at a hundred percent. So that's pretty crazy actually. Like when I look at this and the fact that I'm getting now, it did drop there to 30, getting some good frames there. Let's see if we can push this a bit further though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move through the different anti-aliasings and check them out and see how it affects my system. So we're gonna go ahead here, anti-aliasing super resolution. So now we're gonna go FXAA, which is called, as you can see there, it is fast approximate anti-aliasing, requires less computing power, but being spatial only anti-aliasing and may result in flickering. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. And we're getting averages between, I saw a dip there below 130. I'm going to try and go up higher so that I can like maybe get some other stuff in the far field view here. Here we go. And my frame rate's like not bad. It did dip there to 109, a low of 109, which is pretty good. 110, all right. 97 I saw there. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's go back in. Let's try now the next one over, FXAA. Let's go TAA, which is temporal. Uh, Antisane combines previous frames with current frames to provide better quality than FXAA. So we're going to apply that. Let's see now. So we are getting, it is going lower. Really what I'm trying to do is figure out which is the best settings to get me the highest FPS that I can go with. Let's see here, I'm just, as I'm breaking things, let's just break things like crazy here. Inside, definitely get some stuff here. Let's go higher up. So here we go, we're back and literally looking at it with TAA, it is dropping below 100 frames. Um, and you know, it's not horrible, it's not bad, it is pretty smooth. I'm not getting any like big crazy frame drops that I can see, like it is pretty smooth, but I do at time and time again do. And that's at TAA and that's running full 100%, 1440p. So let's go ahead now and go back and we're going to put this on nvidia dlss and we're going to go performance mode so what that's going to do is it's going to take 1440p half of that then upscale it to 100 percent and we're going to go ahead and hit back and then we're going to see what that does i'm not uh it's you're you're getting into the 200s now you're definitely getting into the 200s I definitely see it getting into the 200s a bit, which is nice. Like you're getting into the high 200s.
Okay, you're definitely getting up there, which is really, really nice. Let me see here. Yeah, we're getting we're in high 200s, which is nice. That'd be nice. All right. I right now DLSS I think is kind of. Oh, there you go. It just dropped to 160. But that's still good though. I'd rather it drop to 160. Yo, I'd rather like. Oh, it just dropped to 69. Hold on, I gotta see that again. So that is like a big 170, 150. Okay. It's definitely having a bit of hiccups here or there. But it's not horrible. All right, let's try now. TSR. So we're going to switch it from NVIDIA to TSR low and see how that does. And in performance. I Now, I don't know the differences between TSR low, high, medium. But we're roughly getting the same performance right now as DLSS. I don't want to kill myself again, so we're just going to... Oh, almost did. Just watching the frames a bit here. Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, it just dropped to 92. I just saw it drop. 170. Okay, not bad, not bad. 170 again just had a huge frame hiccup there dropped to 22 frames i didn't see that with dlss a bit but let's now move it to tsr medium there's tsr medium epic and high i don't even know what the difference is, is. see now i'm getting a low of like 170 with tsr I think NVIDIA, if you have an NVIDIA card, I'm, I'm really seeing, I think, the NVIDIA card do a little better. But we're going to switch that back in a second because there was some hiccups over here. Let's see where the hiccups were. Okay, it's around this area. I'm getting, I'm getting a huge frame drop. 199. So in this area, it's actually a really good area. It's dropping like 120. Let's switch it back to NVIDIA DLSS. Apply. Here we go. NVIDIA is dropping as well in this area. Yeah. NVIDIA is definitely dropping as well in this area. But we're getting some good higher frames. Alright, let's go now with... Let's try TSR. We did TSR medium. Let's go TSR high. Going 130s, 140s. That whole area there seems to like really drop your frames. There must be something going on there. But I'm really seeing a huge frame drop in this area. right now one sixty I don't know if TSR is really doing it's either doing really that let's go TSR epic now let's see what happens one fifty it's dropping to one thirty so TSR Epic goes really low. All right, so, oh, it just dropped to 90 there. Okay, we're gonna go back, I think, back and forth between TSR Epic and NVIDIA DLSS.
back in that area though, like there's a lot of drop frames. I just want to see what gives you like the least amount of drop frames. Ooh, 50. That just dropped to 50. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go back there now. Let's try and video DLSS. Boom. I think NVIDIA DLSS has the least amount of huge frame drops. I think definitely it has the least, like I, with TSR, it dropped below 100. With NVIDIA, you're going like 150. So I think the biggest thing here is, I think NVIDIA DLSS is kind of the, the winner. I would say NVIDIA DLSS, I think, is definitely the winner here. Let's see big frame drop now. That didn't do too bad. That actually didn't do too bad. See, I'm at like 141. Yeah, there, drop to 100 with the NVIDIA DLSS. All right, let's try TSR now. Let's see how TSR Epic does in this area because it seems that TS... Here we go. Apply. Back. So, what I suggest is then if you have an NVIDIA card, definitely use a the nvidia dlss if you're not use the tsr i don't have an amd card amds use fsr i unfortunately don't have that so guys once again thank you very much for watching and have a good one